Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Crystal and welcome back. So guys, today we're going to be watching, reacting to scary camping moments. Um, so give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join the family. If you guys have not already, we're going to get right into this video. Hey guys, we're going to get started. Here we go. Holds the world record for being the most haunted place in the UK. And a solo camper from the famous YouTube channel, Camper Vibes, is about to experience why. She headed into Daring Wood seeking solitude and a peaceful escape from her busy life. As she arrived, she set up her camp, noting the dense silence that enveloped the woodland. Normally unfazed by camping alone, this time she felt a subtle chill of unease she couldn't quite shake. As darkness fell, Jane began to explore her surroundings. At first, she heard distant, almost inaudible whispers carried by the wind, but dismissed them as tricks of her imagination. After dinner, Jane settled in for the night, but at 2 a.m. is when things start to take a horrific turn, when she starts hearing unexplainable noises, which she is scared to think might be footsteps. After this encounter sometime later, she is convinced there is more than one person outside her tent, which sends shivers down her spine, as you can see. What the fuck was that? I don't want to turn the light on because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty convinced there's been a person or persons. Because there was definitely something that woke up the sleeping crows as visible. Finally, as dawn approached, Jane emerged from the forest, breathless and trembling. She reached her car, the safety of the modern world, a stark contrast to the horrors she had just experienced. Sean, the adventurous soul behind the YouTube channel, often explores the hidden corners of the UK with his solo camping trips. His channel is a treasure of serene landscapes and peaceful nights under the stars. But in February 2024, one of his camping trips took a terrifying turn. I mean, I am parked on the side of the road. I have parked across from a bit of a clearing. After last week's video, where I had a little bit of aggro, I decided this week I'm just going to come out in the middle of nowhere so that I can have a little bit of downtime. On this particular adventure, Sean decided to leave his van parked by the side of the road next to a dense woodland area. After a few hours of exploration, he returned to his van and later set out for another evening stroll. After his walk, Sean settled into his van, cozying up for the night. He signed off his video with the typical, all being well, I'll see you in the morning, good night. But as he drifted off to sleep, the real story was just beginning to unfold. All being well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. A car's just pulled up. And it sounds like they're walking around the van. At around 3 o'clock a.m., Sean was jolted awake by the sound of a car pulling up nearby. He listened carefully as footsteps approached and circled his van. His heart raced as he realized someone or something was outside. So he quietly pulled back the curtains to see what was happening, and the mysterious visitors hurriedly got back to their car and sped off into the night.
It doesn't stop here, because the following morning, Sean decided to inspect the outside of his van. But as he tried to open the door, he discovered it was stuck. Confused and slightly alarmed, he forced it open and was met with an unsettling sight. His van had been zip-tied shut. Watch what happens. My door's stuck. See that? Someone had Whoa. taken the time to secure the doors with heavy duty zip ties, effectively trapping him inside. As he examined the van, he found that the back door was also tampered with. His mind raced with possible motives. Were they trying to steal Diesel? Or perhaps they were locals unhappy with his presence? Or just people messing around? Despite his harrowing experience, Sean's adventurous spirit remained unbroken. YouTube adventurer Matt Field, the face behind the popular channel Field Days, with 1.6 million followers, recently took on a challenge that pushed his courage and his audience's nerves to the limit as he ventured into a location steeped in a remote cave, reputed to be haunted. The adventure begins with Matt setting out for a 24-hour solo camping challenge. This particular cave, whispered about in local lore and among Matt's friends, is said to have an unsettling presence. Almost immediately upon entering, Matt reports a sensation of being watched, hearing very strange sounds. All right, so a fair bit of time has passed. We're still sitting here. Two extremely weird noises I've heard now. One, I swear to God it was the ladder that I come into the cave on. It was swinging. Now, I think I'm just, think, I think I'm just tripping balls, but I, I swear to God it was the ladder swinging. And um, second thing is just that weird sound I heard again. It's just a very strange noise, but I can't really put my finger on what it is. I don't think it's bats. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it is about 11 o'clock at night right now, and we are going to dig into the baked beans. As Matt settles in for the night, feasting on a can of baked beans, the creepiness intensifies when suddenly he hears an inexplicable sound that sends chills down his spine. In a haunted cave. Oh my God. That was the sound. That is the sound. Did you hear that? Look at my look at my arms. I got full goosebumps. As the night progresses, watch how things get very obviously worse with the doubt. As he hears even more disturbing noises, which can't be explained by the wind. I pray. I really hope you guys heard that chain move just then. It is 100% now. I heard it before. I'm 100% certain it's the chain that I walked in that you climbed down into this cave on. It's moving. Now, you can't move that chain with wind. It's way too heavy. There is no wind coming in here. There's no wind even for cup. Holy shit. Oh, fucking God. Oh. You must have heard that just then. Look at my arms, dude. Oh, this... That's not normal, dude. Like, I'm freaking out. What's up? Something really weird is happening at home. Uh, I've been a bit, it's probably about two hours, two and a half hours after I checked in with you guys, so it would be around two o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. All right, good bloody morning to you. It is the morning. We have spent the whole entire night in this oh, cave. Yeah, this Some of the most craziest, most busted ass sounds I've heard in my life were happening last night. Like I'm talking sounds that give me 
chills, dude. Like, I'm proper chills. I'm here. I'm still alive. I haven't been murdered. I haven't been taken by a ghost or a spirit. So that's a bloody good thing. The sun has just come up. I've actually, I've actually been sleeping here on this rock. So, could this cave truly be haunted? Matt's experience seems I mean, to suggest there might be truth there was to the legends. Why would his chain and his ladder be moving? Rody is a YouTube channel where the uploader shares his experiences of living out of his truck and traveling around the country. Typically, his videos focus on the beauty of nature and the joys of independent living. However, a video uploaded in December of 2017 diverged from the theme, showcasing a far more unsettling experience. In this particular video, Rody recounts an incident that occurred earlier that year while he was car camping in a parking lot. At around 1.30 a.m., a hooded man began walking around his truck, taking pictures of the license plates. Oh my God. The back of the truck where Rody was sleeping was pitch black, making it likely that the man did not realize anyone was inside. Unaware that he was being recorded, take a look at how the suspicious individual continued to circle the truck for several minutes. So it was probably around like 1.30 in the morning when I heard someone walking around my truck um, and whenever you're sleeping, you know, somewhere public and you hear somebody walking around outside your truck, uh, it's always a little bit alarming. Um, so what you'll see here in a second, he pulls out his phone and starts taking pictures. It looks like I'm on my license plate or something like that. I'm not sure why he was doing this. Uh, so I thought maybe, you know, I wasn't allowed to park there and he was taking pictures of my license plate, but it's kind of odd to be doing that at 1.30 in the morning. Um, and he didn't, look like, he didn't look like a security guard or anything like that. The fear builds as the man makes his way to the side of the truck and tries to shine a flashlight inside. At this point, Rody decides to take action. He bangs his fist on the inside of the truck to alert the man to his presence. Startled, the man immediately runs away. He comes back around and tries to shine his flashlight into the back of my camper shell. You'll see any second. Um, and I just bang on the, on the window and he, he takes off running. Um, so he probably wasn't expecting that. The exact intentions of the hooded individual remain unclear, but his extremely weird behavior suggested he might have been planning something illegal, possibly a carjacking. Thankfully, Brody was able to scare him off and spend the night safely. Phil, the host of the YouTube channel. Okay, my thing is, what are these people doing? when people are camping in their cars or their campers like what are these people doing as far as like walking around their cars zip lining their their vehicles like their door shut to trap them in the vehicles like what are these people doing like this person said like it could be either a carjack a robbery or be playing dumb jokes like that like why would you be outside at 1 in the morning when people are sleeping at that time like i'm not that's kind of odd to me Hikes Land is known for his adventurous hikes across Virginia. On the day before Thanksgiving in 2021, Phil embarked on an overnight hike and camping trip along a section of the Appalachian Trail near his home. What started as a routine adventure quickly turned horrifying. About half an hour into his hike, take a look upon the pile of garbage he found. So some Bud Light cans, plastic bat, writing on some of this garbage this one hangman is coming down from the gallows uh, song lyrics other weird things well hopefully i don't get murdered out here that would totally ruin my day well let's keep going oddly it was covered in cryptic writing while strange it wasn't enough to deter him from continuing, and he joked about hoping not to get murdered. However, as he progressed further along the trail, he encountered more of these rambling notes, and this time they were accompanied by a dead duck, adding a disturbing twist to the situation. What was even more odd was how neatly the notes were placed between rocks. The weirdness continues. And 
Guys, ever picture something like you go camping in the woods or something like that and you just find these random notes all over the freaking woods would you be scared or would you just like have a chill back or would you like run away because that is odd just finding notes in random places in the woods that's scary as heck that is very scary dead duck here oh a very long note Looks like it was just put here because it's not wet. Um, that duck is fairly recently killed. All right. I'm gonna say that. Kind of creepy. Concerned by the bizarre discoveries, oh, Phil decided to change his plans. Instead of camping at his original spot, he opted to hike two miles in the opposite direction to a shelter. Despite his efforts to find a safe place, the unsettling presence seemed to follow him. Watch what happens later at night. I'm gonna check out the shelter log here. I hang out by the fire. Almost every shelter on the Appalachian Trail has a shelter log where people write in their trail names and what's going on. They can write whatever they want in there. So it's kind of cool tradition here. So let's see what this one says. Little engine, back section. Hiking again, finally. Great day on the AT. This was in August. Huh. Someone left some PBRs here, I guess. It's nice and little trail magic. Ah, some comics and writing and stuff. All right, let's see what's happened recently. Holy crap. Wait a second. Well, let me adjust the camera here. This writing looks almost exactly like the writing that was on that garbage a couple of miles from here. Um, let's see if this makes any sense. Sorry if the lighting's bad. I'm just going to see what it says. Clean the outhouse. Picked up trash. Collected wood for others. See Charlie Daniels' Simple Man lyrics, which I used in 2013 Facebook post and note the rope I found with the silicone sealant can two miles south of that. I left it on a stump. In 2018, while I was incarcerated at the Okaloosa County Jail, what the heck? In solitary confinement, I figured the following out. Refer to Isaiah 2815, through nine. Here in early 2017, Trump, Nebo, allowed Obama to have the special use of the Air Force One for a trip to Palm Springs. This is the same ramblings from the guy that was on the other side of the river. That's kind of scary. Understandably disturbed, Phil struggled to fall asleep that night. He was still half awake when he heard footsteps approaching the shelter. His heart raced as the sound grew closer, knowing that someone or something was nearby. So rationally, he made the smart decision to go back to his truck and leave. Yeah. All right, guys. So what I feel about this video is this video was very terrifying at, at its worst. Like, I probably wouldn't even go camping at all just because of all the experience that these people experience, especially with people approaching, like, tents, hammocks, um, trailers. Like, you don't know, like, what's lurking in the woods, as you can say, as I could say. Um, if you do go camping, make sure it's with a group of people, not by yourself. Um, I would never go camping, to be honest. Um, I've never been camping in my life. But like if some family like invite me to a camping trip, it has to be a group of people. It cannot be by myself. It can't, it can't be, it just can't be by myself just because that's a risk I'm taking as far as like being by myself if something happens, you know? So these camping videos are very, very traumatic. Um, I can't imagine what these people go through on a daily basis when they do go camping. Um, but 
yeah um i'm so done with this video like i'm terrified just even look just even talking about it but give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel join the family if you guys have not already and also um comment down below if you guys go camping um <laughs> let me know if you guys go camping and let me know your experiences if you ever experienced something like this also you guys can get recommendations to me as far as what you guys want me to watch um i know somebody suggested the paranormal activity movie but that got copyrighted so i couldn't do it so um yes feel free to um give me some recommendations and also um let me know what you guys like so that way we can get this ball rolling and get to 1,000 subscribers guys let's get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2024 2025 is quickly approaching so i'm out and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye